While the first few models of the GeForce 20 series were undoubtedly fast, they also raised the bar in terms of pricing. As such, it's good to see a more affordable model now making its way onto the market. The new GeForce RTX 2060 is a full Turing GPU, giving you the benefits of the new RTX technology, such as real-time ray tracing and DLSS post-processing. For more information on these features and the Turing architecture, please check out our original review of the GeForce RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti. Now, normally the model in a GeForce series which ends with the number 60, such as the 1060 and 960 before it, is a whole new GPU built from the ground up. But this time round, the 2060 is based on the same TU106 GPU as the existing 2070. Thus, whilst the 2070 has 2,304 CUDA cores, the 2060 drops down to 1,920, a 17% drop. Meanwhile, the tensor cores drops by 15% from 288 to 240, and the RT cores by 17% from 36 to 30. The 2060 also has less memory, being armed with 6GB of GDDR6. These reductions in capability are balanced out by approximate £200 difference in price, making the 2060 the first 20 series graphics card to retail for well under £500. The table shows the principal specs of the new 2060, along with the 2070 on which it's based, plus the three closest price equivalents from the old GTX 10 series. We put the new GeForce RTX 2060 card through its paces in one of our 3XS Vengeance gaming PCs, with the full spec of this system on screen now. This is the same configuration we used to test the other models in the GeForce RTX 20 series. Given the high spec of the graphics cards we were testing, all the benchmarks were run at a resolution of 2560 by 1440 at the highest quality settings with all the eye candy and post-processing turned on. All the cards were tested with the latest NVIDIA driver using a fresh install of Windows 10 Home. The old 1070 Ti and 1070 graphics cards were a great choice for gaming at 2560 by 1440, so it's good to see both models can render a modern game such as Battlefield 5 at a smooth frame rate. The new 2060 really showed its mettle though, playing Battlefield 5 27% faster than the 1070, a great achievement considering both cards retail for a very similar price. As the 2060 is based on the Turing architecture, it supports DXR, which is Microsoft's API for real-time ray tracing in games. Battlefield 5 is the first game to support DXR via a recent series of patches, so we also wanted to see how the new 2060 handled the DXR effects such as ray trace reflections. Whilst the 2060 achieved a smooth minimum frame rate of 65 frames per second in Battlefield 5 at 2560 by 1440, enabling DXR dropped the frame rate by 45%, making the game choppy and unplayable. We therefore dropped the resolution to a less demanding 1920 by 1080, and as you can see from the graph, even at this resolution, Battlefield 5 with DXR enabled is still very demanding, with the minimum frame rate dropping down from a silky smooth 90 frames per second to 49 frames per second. Whilst this is a playable frame rate, and so therefore it's fair to say that the new 2060 will allow you to enjoy the gorgeous new ray trace reflections, but there is a significant trade-off. To achieve a smooth frame rate, you'll also need to drop down the resolution. The last game we benchmarked was The Witcher 3. Once again, the new 2060 proved a significant 25% faster than the 1070, but only slightly faster than the 1070 Ti. The first few models of the new GeForce RTX 20 series set new records for performance, but also up the bar for pricing, with the flagship 2080 Ti model retailing for well over £1,000. The fourth member of the series, the new 2060, is a more moderate affair retailing for around £359. Armed with 1,920 CUDA cores, 240 tensor cores and 30 RT cores, plus 6GB of GDDR6 memory, it proved capable of playing the most demanding games at 2560 by 1440 smoothly. Most importantly of all, the new 2060 is significantly faster than the old GTX 1070, which retails for a very similar price. 
Moreover, the new 2060 being Turing based supports advanced new features such as DXR, ray tracing, and DLSS image post processing, which make games look even better. As such, it's clear that the new GeForce RTX 2060 should be at the top of your shopping list if you have around £350 to spend on a new graphics card. Scan stocks a wide range of GeForce RTX 2060 cards from all board manufacturers, including big names such as EVGA and ASUS, plus gaming PCs featuring the new cards built by our award-winning 3XS systems. Check out the links in the video below or our website scan.co.uk for more information.